the project manager of Monday's construction accident at the Wachovia Tower in Uptown, says he can ensure that those who frequent that area, what happened Monday, won't happen again. Meanwhile, OSHA has gotten involved. News Channel 36 reporter Anjanette Flowers is joining us live now from the site with more of what may have led to the accident. Angie? Well, right now they are looking into how those beams were actually hoisted onto that particular crane right there. But what happened yesterday did not slow down what is happening today. It is business as usual here. A day later and still more questions than answers. What caused several 75 pound beams to come crashing down in uptown Charlotte? One theory being investigated were the beams rigged and hoisted correctly. The project manager of Batson Cook Company says one of their subcontractors, United Farming, handled that job. They, they were hoisting the actual material. Um, who's at fault? We don't know yet. That remains to be seen. Perhaps OSHA, who spent most of the day at the site, knows. If they do, they're not telling us. I wish I could, but I'm not allowed to comment. There was not a safety net at this site. The owner of another crane company that was not involved in Monday's accident says in this case, it probably would not have made a difference. There is no, that I know of right now, no uh, government regulation that requires safety nets, but in uh, uh, people pushing for safety first, uh, you'll see a lot of contractors are using them now at their own expense. Batson Cook's project manager says when it comes to moving materials from one side of the street to the other, they don't allow traffic to come through, but somehow a bus did. The whole commotion that happened, the, the flaggers that are down at, that have the signs, um, you know, once they saw the commotion happen, they dropped the sign and it appears in the process, the bus driver just went ahead and went forward in the process and, and that appears how it, the bus got hit. And so we've learned it could be days, weeks, even months before OSHA's investigation is complete. Live now from our mobile newsroom in Uptown Charlotte, I'm Anjanette Flowers, News Channel 36.